it's very difficult to trade bullets with him because of his long attack range. That's why a lot of times when a team has some a hero like the anti mage, for example, teams will pick even an offlane Monkey King. Uh, Complexity has done it yesterday, I believe. EG did it as well. Um, it's just a very strong hero in, in lane right now. And with the additional jungle camps in the offlane, it does allow the Chen to be a bit more flexible. That I may not falter on my right. Yeah. I like the way that they're laying this, leaving a Madara alone here, basically. Oh, Madara, is he getting blocked? Fata tries to go for the block, that's for sure. He's not gonna get it because he can just eat through the trees. Madara, that is, but the uh, wraparound comes from Puppy. The roll as well does connect. Do they have any more damage than this? They do have the set of blast. Still, it does hit all three of them. The Yapsir has to be careful, though, to not be the first one to die. He is gonna get frozen, but they don't see him. And maybe next time, who's gonna die here first? Who's gonna die? And it is the Spirit Breaker, indeed. Blast doesn't connect. Not sure they still have to... They do have a roll. Never... Oh, it misses. But they should still be able to get it. And he's got Madara as well. So, well, that's a double kill for Puppy with one blast. And suddenly, this safe lane from Mossport's not great anymore. Bottom tower is under uh, this is a lot of pressure on both sides here. Karis cannot farm, and Madara is gonna get hunted again. Doesn't have a TP, can eat himself through the trees though, but is it really gonna do anything? Probably not. Gets blocked again, Satire Blast to the face. And yeah, Radiant's Wolves could probably use some attack. armor. Oh. Top tower has been taken, so we're even in terms of towers now. But of course, Fata and Yabs are already working on the next one. Oh, top lane, Monkey King does get ultied as well, and oh, oh the bash! What an unlucky bash, honestly. I mean, maybe there's, you know, you can prime your prime your bashes, so maybe, maybe next time has been working on that. Alright, bottom tower. They need this money. They need this money so desperately. Tom lane, mid one does have a haste. It's gonna run Skylark down, force out the or uh, the ultimate, and he's gonna chase this. And he gets this easy kill as well for him. With that, bottom lane, there's no pock rotation if they want to go for this. But at the same time, there is an OD. Yeah, and they're just probably gonna sacrifice Wata here. Uh, he has to die. Or are they going to turn this? Are they going to turn this? No, they can't. There's a Chen ultimate! They could potentially turn this. Well, I guess they don't have to turn this if they don't have any catch. My thrift rewarded. You know, there was an article on, I believe, Jun Dota, was it? Uh, where they interviewed a bunch of Chen players. And they asked them, you know, why is, why is Chen not picked? Oh, wait. Before I finish the story, it looks like that's a dead Fata. Cold feet should proc. It's a great timing with the A blast as well. Actually, no, it's the wrong timing. They still get the A kill before they actually kill the Prophet. They timed it incorrectly. Of course they did. Mid lane, looks like they're gonna connect the charge, but the Earth Shake, Earth Spirit is here, does get the double stun and the silence off. Allows Ace to use his Oh, yeah, he's dead. He's just dead. Ever Spirit comes in, and he doesn't connect the Spirit, and he's out of mana already. I'm not sure if a Secret can take this fight. They lock a lot of mana in control right now. Yeah, Fata has to be careful not to get blocked and frozen. Oh, Puck has been scattered out. Is there an Orchid? No, there's not an Orchid just yet. Oh. So they just need to rely on the Suns from Yapsor, and that one is pretty damn reliable. Yeah, Secret, they don't really need to force anything. They can take their time. Sure, they have a Chen, but the Chen went Midas. Oh, Fata immediately silences up the Spirit Breaker. Doesn't get stunned anymore. They do see the rest of them. They do have a nice ward. Sun and silence on TA. That uh, should be an easy kill. It is. Madara pops the ultimate, but Mouseboard's wisely disengaged. And in the meantime, mid one just pushing out the bottom lane. Can they get this one? Oh, doubt they can. Very much doubt they can. They need to find the remnant, which. Oh, he doesn't have a remnant up anymore. I thought he did. Well, this might just be a dead mid one. He's certainly gonna get charged or yields up. Do they have a silence? Yeah, they do. And there's another strike on top of it. That's a dead mid one. Oh, they want the OD, that's for sure. If they're gonna get him, that's a different question. 
Yes, yeah, so certainly Ampa himself for now. Looks like they're gonna find the Spirit Breaker and the AA double support. Well, that's not too bad either. And they're running. Oh, they still see the OD as well. Ember Spirit jumps in. That might just be a dead OD. He does have a BKB though, so he's gonna turn around, but he's just by himself as well. He's gonna force himself out. A lot of harassment, but with the Chen ultimate, it's gonna heal everybody up. Uh, Ace might just fall here with a puck rotation for sure. That's only the Aegis though, so they have to be careful. Lycan is still not in this fight just yet, and a nice stun up onto the puck, a nice stun a chain onto the OD as well, so... Now, this is just gonna be really bad for Mouseboards, isn't it? Yep. Well, they're gonna force the issue here, but I believe they're, if anything, just gonna force out a buyback here. Don't really think they can go for this tower, though. As I say, that mid one is just gonna commit onto this AA and gets the kill. Well, Mouseboards chooses not to buy back just yet. I mean, it's only 10 seconds on the puck, so it doesn't really seem like it's worth it, but Madara has to be careful not to get caught out here with the Orchid, for sure, that should be enough damage. The Double Shrine are gonna keep him alive, but that was really close. Puck is now back, and he is there in D-push, but how much D-push is it, really? Tower is gonna fall, they might lose Rex on top of it as well, and they certainly will. Charge gonna come through it, but it's gonna get cancelled with the chains. Stun on top of it, do they have invis attraction? They do. Well, the Necrobook, of course. Why was I looking? Oh, they find Spartan as well. So they get away with murder, it seems. Oh, Dream Call only in Fanta for now. Chains on Puck with the Stomp as well and the Silence on top of it. But defensive Imprisonment is going to keep him safe. And Yabzor committing to sacrificing himself for his own course. And Ace is just chilling, you know? He's like, yo guys, I was part of this. I too have been pushing. Certainly they don't know where I am, right? Oh no! There's a career. Oh, that's a dead Monkey King. Right, who's gonna get it? I'm gonna say... I wasn't gonna say Spartan. Looks like Secret do not want to give them this tower. Puck is gonna scout out two of them. Chains are not gonna connect, but he's gonna jump in with his spirit. Charge is gonna come on through. He has a BKB though, so the Nether Strike needs to connect and it does. Mid one has to be careful here. I'm losing a lot of HP, but he's gonna heal on through with the Chen ultimate. And, well, that's the Dream Call onto two. Spirit Break is still invisible. They know he's there, but they don't have any invis detection just yet. Puck is gonna make it out of there. Maybe next time he's not so lucky. Mandara gonna run on away. Puck is face shifting up. The stun is not gonna connect. And with that, the only casualties of war seem to be the supports of Mouse Wards. And indeed, everybody else is going to get away here. If you're a Secret fan, you're very happy about how this game is developing. And Secret's playing it very safe. They're not really trying to give Mousebots an inch whatsoever. Grouping up again, even. Smoking up. They do see that Roshan is up. I'm not sure they're going to have... They're probably going to force a fight. If they win the fight, they can either take base or Roshan. So that's pretty great. A immediately gets stunned out. Oh, that's... Can't even finish my sentence. Puck does use his ultimate on the... Yes, with the hacks as well. I'm not sure that's really the target for them. Uh, Poppy in the meantime gets picked off in the background and uh, the Yapsor survives the onslaught and pulls out the Magnetize, but... Oh boy, Mouseports. Yeah, they get wiped. Forced to call the GG here. They only get the Chen. Very rough for them. Very rough game one for them. Even though they sort of won both the offline and the safe lane, their mid game just wasn't really what they needed it to be and... I think Secret just played it really well, making sure they all... As great as Alchemist is with Grievous Greed accelerating his farm, oftentimes Meepo can keep the pace, if not outpace, an Alchemist. I don't know. I, I expect Yapsor. or... Would, would you expect Yapsor or actually to move away from this lane anytime soon, or do you think he needs to be there for them not to dive the Meepo? Them not to dive the Meepo and for him to get experience in general. Zeus is a hero that can't really afford as nicely finds the dire warden on his cliff. He's a hero that can't afford to fall behind. It's very much off into how we see an ancient apparition played, in which they'll not really provide the best lane support, as Zeus is not great at zoning enemy heroes, but you've got access to both your jungle camps. You can get levels pretty much uninhibited, and once Meepo starts leveling up his Divided We Stand and Oh wait, top lane, items. looks like Pot oh. Puppy, yep, he's gonna die, uh, die here. To this tower. Uh, he just wants to get to the top lane, yeah. charge or otherwise. Oh, the TP coming in though. They're gonna go into Fata again with the Sprout. He doesn't have a way to eat himself out of there. And this is a Doom, low armor, and with the Reaper Scythe. Well, it's just an easy kill for him. 
You know, that's sort of one of the things which... It's really interesting that, you know, everybody just agrees that this is pretty much the best build you can get. You know, you start off with Boots, immediately go to Phase, and then Orb of Venom. Um, though after that, I think there's a lot of different ideas. Oh, mid lane, looks like that's a dead Spartan. Could certainly be, it is. Yeah, he's gonna pop the smoke, has no idea, but we'll take that shot. They're gonna go for the Necro anyway. Screw this Lich. They've got Doom. And Spartan does not have Chain Frost. He's so close to level 6, but does not have it. Well, they can't find Thug. They can't find Thug. He's just gonna TP out. Oh, boy. Yabzer is here, you know, to, to slow it down, but this is just... Oh, there's a rotation with a Doom used as well onto the neck of us. He is getting pretty low, and this should be a dead... Dead, dead Thug. But where's the follow-up? Can they find anybody else? Yeah, the warding from Mouse has been exceptional this game. He was able to find that Meepo early on farming in his jungle. And I, I I mean, it's not easy. We saw that Zeus was able to get one counter ward out, but they've been doing a good job. It's now some aggressive movement on the mid lane. Oh, the silence is up on the Ember Spirit. They have to be careful. There's a Reaper, so I think that's a dead Ember Spirit. Down for 40 seconds. And Fata gets sprouted up as well. He still can't eat through a goddamn tree. He's stuck, but does have face boots up. And yeah, he's gonna be fine. I don't think a pipe is entirely necessary. Only if you're concerned of Zeus getting out of control with like, you know, Thundergrass Wrath, and they're giving Yapsor some room, but not enough to worry about yet. Alright. Mid-1, in the meantime, doesn't know that there's two people right around him. Smoked up. They get the silence off here, but they definitely need more damage. Yep, Prophet already keeps his end. Reaper size should be there. Easy kill. They're pretty much banking on the fact that Meepo's gonna be able to take them late, so they want someone to initiate, be it the Ember Spirit, the Spirit Breaker, or the Meepo, and then they want this Doom to kind of sneak around and find a... Right now it's gonna be the Necro to Doom, and later on it's going to be the Alchemist to Doom, but they don't want to have to deal with that. If you have all this early aggression, you want to make sure it doesn't get cut in half by some random heals or Reaper Scythe taking out one of your allies and stuff oh, like that. As now, looks like we're gonna you have two to ganks defensive. at once. There's just not to be with Doom, but he's not the one getting caught out, and that's the blink on the poof. That's the dead Alchemist without a Doom. Oh, actually, no, they did use Doom. Never mind. Can they find more kills? They can. Three kills in total, and Spartan looks Maybe quite juicy as well. Yep. Machines are up, but looks like no, mid one is gonna use it now. I'm not gonna save him. Oh, there's a charge on top. Is this a fifth kill? Just like this? There's yeah, no cheats to follow Amber. it up, though. He's out yep. of mana. He's pretty and tanky. Deployed. Well, Thug is staying and defending, but yeah, he's he's not gonna go down. But there's no way he's gonna get anything in return. I guess maybe they're not too worried about Alchemists. They're mainly worried about the Necrofo, So might as well itemize for your biggest threat as they find Thug. Doom yep, is available. Should be a dead one. They use the Doom as well. Oh, that's the dead one. He should die, right? He's dead. Oh, yeah, he's dead. oh, the TP still go through, so they choose to fight this. But Nepo's there. That's a dead lich. Is that a dead alchemist? No, it's a dead doom for now. Oh, hopefully still bumping through. And oh my god, Medara lives on through with the armor toggle as well. Do they get Puppy here? Doesn't seem... Oh, no, the Radiance burn. Radiance they should burn. Be able to. Uh, very favorable trade for mouse sports. They survive on the alchemist and get the Meepo kill. That lich ultimate is so strong. But uh, this Alchemist is so tanky, and if they already blow Doom, I'm not sure they have enough damage to really kill him. Oh, well, that's a silence onto mid one, and mid one has to be careful. He's gonna get burst down with the Reaper as well. That was uh, interesting. Optimistic. Yeah, very optimistic. It's a nice he way to He does not have it. a Lincolns, and he was playing as if he did have a Lincolns. And he's not even going for Lincolns, he's going for Radiance. I don't think that they can do anything about this Roche. Oh, looks like they still want to, though. Ace is definitely in here, gets the net onto two with the charge coming in through as well. Fata is in them from behind. Lich falling very low, but there's the Alchemist with the stun. They still get the kill into Lich, but where's the follow-up? Doom is gonna die in Spirit Breaker. It's all by himself. The buyback from mid one, in fact. And he's gonna jump in as well, gets the chain onto two, but with the Mantis style. Mm -hmm. Nope, that's a dead Alchemist still. <laughs> in the meantime, Meepo finishes the Roshan and gets the Aegis. Mousebridge has been robbed. Secret are only behind 2k, considering there's an Alchemist in the game. That's that's very great for Secret. If they find the skill on the Alchemist as well, they're in such a good position. Oh, and he gets rooted, in fact, with the Doom on top. Can they kill him? Where's the damage, though? Still, everybody's very proud. Embersbrit has to jump in from very far in. They do find the kill, and there's a chain onto the Nature's Prophet as well. But I'm not sure they can pursue this any further. Oh, just kidding. There's a Spirit Breaker charging through. Skylark is dead. Puppy even pursues it in the hole. Base? Nope. Oh, that's a chain nice on the next That should get them another kill. 
good luck picking him off in the first place. Yeah, and there's a little bit more mitigation now. Um, Fata is working his way to towards that hood, so that'll help. Yules has been completed on Yaps or Zeus, so that's also a tool to help potentially a unstable concoction interruption, something like that. So Ember Spirit is not going to get punished yet as Skylark tries to cut this and take this mid tier one and it's going to be successful. But Dara, there's an Invis Doom in the nearby and he does get Doom indeed without his ultimate. So he is just going to die really quickly. There's no buyback on him as well. Three heroes dead. This is we'll absolutely insane. One. Well, you do find him with the silence and well, Reaper Size is not going to finish the kill, but it does secure it likely. Yeah, it should. You don't get the Reaper Scythe kill, but you do get the kill, which is the most important part here. He does not need the gold one bit. He is pretty broke, but like, what's he gonna do to win this game is the question. Is they initiate oh, onto a There's a fight for sure, there's a Doom on the Alchemist again. There's no net to connect it just yet though, but they're still chasing him with the Nether Strike on top of it. Is this gonna be the end of Madara's Alchemist it is? Dead for 70 seconds. If they find this stuck here, this might just be it's GG because none of them have of a lot yeah, of things. Uh, yeah, it's the end in general. Oh boy. Secret. I told you, they've been making Europe look free. They really did. And, you know, they have so many heroes that you need to look out for as well. It's absolutely insane. They they force Mouse Sports to ban the Chen in this game and then they just, you know, grab a Mipro. After Mouse was already banned, like, what, the Brute Mother, which is yet another sort of like pocket pick from uh from secret so this team is you know when they're